Technical progress now makes it possible, while in the past mankind could only speculate about the nature and exact appearance of our galactic home, we are now able to take a direct look at foreign worlds with the help of modern space telescopes and space probes. Let's take Venus as an example. Before the so-called sister planet of the Earth was explored in detail, many people believed that under the dense cloud cover of this celestial body, there was a flourishing haven of life characterized by large jungle landscapes and the most diverse inhabitants. However, the measurements and images taken during later exploration missions ultimately revealed the true, toxic face of our neighboring planet. Consequently, galactic images of this type play an essential role in understanding the nature of the cosmos with all its diverse celestial bodies and structures. So, while many of the images published by NASA leave us awestruck, others simply leave us with raised eyebrows. This is always the case when the corresponding photos show strange shapes or formations that cannot be placed in a logical context at first. We'll now show you which of NASA's five mysterious photos made waves after they were published. Want to learn more about the breathtaking discoveries and exciting phenomena in space on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe and activate the bell so you'll never miss one of our videos again. With a thumbs up, you show us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our contributions. Enigmatic Structure it's the 19th of September, 2006, as astronaut Daniel Burbank, on board the Space Shuttle Atlantis, becomes aware of a remarkable structure. The photo that the space traveler captured with a digital still camera was soon to fuel the most heated debates. The central question of these controversial discussions was, what is this mysterious structure? In the image, the object looks almost like a ghostly creature with a shape resembling a jellyfish drifting through the ocean. The hope that NASA itself would shed light on this galactic mystery, however, was not to be fulfilled. The renowned space agency stated that it was unable to identify the ominous structure. It's possible that it was a small piece of debris. Internet users, on the other hand, were far more creative in their explanations. Thus, there was no doubt for many observers that it was an organic UFO, an extraterrestrial terrestrial being of unknown origin. On the same day that this mysterious photo originated, the cameras of the space shuttles also caught another unidentified object that set unusual momentum into swing. Officials said it was probably not the same jellyfish-like object that was later captured on film. The internet community recognized several UFOs in the pictures that seem to be pursuing the earthly space shuttle. What are your thoughts on these mysterious images? Feel free to write it to us in the comments. The Mars Face When the world public first glimpsed a view of the Mars surface published by NASA in the summer of 1976, many could not believe their eyes. For in fact, it appeared as if a human face was rising from the Martian landscape covered in iron oxide dust. The sensational structure, which soon made headlines in the press as the Martian face, was to give rise to the wildest speculations in the following years. Was the ominous landscape formation possibly the building of an extraterrestrial species? Or was it possibly even the mortal remains of a gigantic extraterrestrial being? These conjectures lasted until the year 2001, when the mystery of the Mars face was finally solved. At that time, the unmanned space probe, Mars Global Surveyor, delivered new images of the region, which, thanks to the higher resolution, shed light on the galactic mystery. Today, we know that the supposed face is in fact simply a natural rock formation that eroded and weathered as part of various processes. In addition, modern photographs of the formation show practically no resemblance to a human face. The supposed human face that the rock formation presented to us as recently as the 1970s is most likely due to the interaction of light and shadow at the time the photograph was taken. Furthermore, a phenomenon called pareidolia is said to have contributed to the fact that many viewers recognize the face in the photo. Specifically, the term pareidolia describes the tendency to recognize familiar objects or living beings in patterns. Thus, pareidolia is the result of conscious or unconscious misinterpretations, as our brain tends to fill in the blanks of diffuse perceptions and assign them to familiar shapes and patterns. A classic example of such a phenomenon is passing clouds, in which people see a wide variety of everyday things. 
the witch's head nebula. A crooked, pointed chin and a conspicuously large hooked nose. If you take a look at that ominous structure, appropriately christened the Witch's Head Nebula, you might think that a dark magician is doing her mischief in the universe. As fascinating and supernatural as the unique images of the structure may seem, it's actually easy to demystify the Witch's Head Nebula. In detail, it's a reflection nebula in the constellation Eridanus. In the astronomical world, the term reflection nebula is used to describe clouds of interstellar dust that scatter the incoming light from neighboring stars and are thus brightly illuminated. In the case of the cosmic witch's head, it is Regal, the brightest star in the constellation Orion, that serves as the natural light source for the stunning formation. The fact that the nebula formation shimmers bluish is due to the fact that the extremely fine dust particles it contains can reflect blue better than red. Butterfly Nebula The so-called Butterfly Nebula shows us once again what bizarre shapes the natural formations in the universe can take. This planetary nebula in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer is more reminiscent of a shape from a science fiction movie than a structure that occurs naturally in our galactic home. But what does the object, first discovered in 1947 by German-American astrophysicist Rudolf Minkowski, consist of in detail? Typically, such astronomical formations are composed of a shell of gas and plasma, which in turn was ejected by an old star at the end of its evolution. However, the common name of these objects is extremely misleading because in planetary truth, nebulae have nothing to do with planets. The name comes from the fact that the objects often appear spherical when viewed from a telescope, making their shape reminiscent of distant gas planets. In the images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, we can clearly see that a hot stellar core is at the center of the butterfly nebula. This in turn has reached the end of its life cycle, shedding most of its outer layers and becoming a red giant that is now in the process of contracting into a white dwarf. Commonly, researchers assume that the celestial body at the bloom of its time was a sun-like star. In detail, however, it was the component of a binary star system, and the second, smaller counterpart may have been engulfed by the expanding stellar atmosphere. The Galactic Hand The structure that we see in this image, taken by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, appears to be a giant, shimmering bluish hand about to clasp a red-hot object. In reality, however, this fascinating spectacle is created by the effects of a young, powerful pulsar. This rapidly rotating neutron star, officially known as B1509, ejects energy into the surrounding space, creating the most fascinating and complex structures, such as the galactic hand we see in the image. The nebula-like structures are actually X-rays with different intensities. Thus, the emissions with the lowest energy are colored red, the middle spectrum appears green, and the most energetic X-rays have a blue color. Experts estimate that B1509 formed just 1700 years ago. Typically, neutron stars are formed when massive stars run out of their own fuel and collapse as a result. As already briefly touched upon, these celestial bodies are characterized by the fact that they emit intense electromagnetic radiation and rotate extremely fast, as does the pulsar B1509, which is 17,000 light years away from us. In detail, the object rotates almost seven times around its own axis within a single second. Presumably, the neutron star has a magnetic field that is 15 trillion times stronger than that of our blue home planet. The interaction of this intense magnetic field and the immense rotation speed makes B1509 a kind of natural electromagnetic generator. This in turn drives a high energy wind of ions and electrons away from the neutron star. As the emitted electrons move through the magnetized nebula, they radiate energy. At the end of these natural processes is the artistic nebula that Chandra captured on film. Now it's your turn. Which unique NASA image captivated you the most? Drop us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions on today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits now. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.